Welcome back to the Moda Super Series where we have a real battle between Connor Scott and Ashley Coleman at the top of the table. That's because both of them have won their opening matches. That's after Osborne beat Steve Jamieson in the first game of the day. Then Scott defeating Ricardo Ham, who did give him a game, as did Gert DeVos. But Coleman coming through, meaning the pair are tied on 20 points apiece at the top of the table. And there is still nothing to separate them. And what does separate them is four legs, Connor Scott with the marginal advantage, but we'll, of course, have to play Coleman later today. And first, we'll have to beat the other players put in front of him. Next up, Steve Jamieson, who has played some decent stuff in the last couple of days. Can he continue that and cause Connor a problem here? You feel like he's going to be there or thereabouts, but one thing the stats show us is Connor Scott is a visit ahead on most of the metrics and... That's how it feels first as well leg. when he it's plays a player first. like Steve Jameson, who is going to need to take one of those sort of finishes, the 116s, the 120s, something within that range he's going to have to take out here if he is going to live with 100. the favourite to win this group in Connor Scott. One hundred and forty. Eighty-five. One hundred. It's a new lot straighter as well. Forty-one. Good timing <laughs> today in regards to sort of finding that line on the twenties. We've seen all week that. He's sort of been straining to the fives quite a lot. 91. So I had to eke out of his game a little bit as the week goes on. 60. Connor, you require 170. Another chance for a break here for Connor Scott. Six starts at the 170. 130. He's up for it today, Connor Scott. You can just tell he's got a very... Determined, focused look. 133. Oh, that brilliant bullseye teed up top. Game shot. Takes it out for a 13 dart. Break of throw in the opening leg. Stephen Jameson acknowledging the brilliance of his opponent Second leg. there. It's Connor to throw first. Game on. 100. You feel like Connor is one of those players that was just a, a victim to a slow start to life on the PDC because he did actually do okay last year, didn't he? He made the World Championships, he 94. made the Players' Championship Finals, which means he was in the top half of the tour. He also won a game at the World Championships that against Christoph Kachuk by three sets to 140. nil. And it sort of goes down to that same sort of poll as Radax Gaganski, if you remember having a great second year. But the slow first year actually lost 95. him his card, where had he have kept his card, he'd have probably been in the world match play. Which, if that was the case, James Wade wouldn't have been at the match play and wouldn't have made the semi-final. How things change. Yeah, and he's certainly showing here, Connor Scott, that he's got the capabilities to mix 44. it with anyone. Connor, you require 50. Stunning start to this game. And he's hit the bullseye the for a 10 darter. Straight for it, straight in it, and it's astronomical, the first couple Third of legs. Leg, it's Steven to throw Just first. 23 darts used by Connor Scott to get halfway to the winning line, and that amounts to an average of more than 130. I didn't 86. see him going for the bullseye, but I'm so glad he did. Just really showing the quality, and the reason as to why he's so highly regarded. The reason as to why at the start of the show I suggested that he's not just a favourite for this group, I think he's the favourite for the series 85. when you look at the players that aren't going to be in Champions Week lineup. It's almost become the done thing, hasn't it? 50 left after nine, and you go for it. It's, if that's 50 left after 12, you won't see players go for it. But I, I blame Chris Mason. He did it on the Super Series stage, and many have followed. 85. 
I suppose if you've got 50 left after nine, you must feel like you can't miss anyway, so... Always special stuff when it goes in. But here he goes again. We, this could be... This could be... 13, 10, 12... Well, let's put it into context. This could be the greatest game we have ever seen here at the Super Series. Double five. 125. Well, he's not that good, is he? require 144. Fair play to Jameson here because we're getting caught up in the 128 average of Connor five. Scott right now that Jameson's actually within striking distance if Connor makes a mistake. Game shot on the third leg. It, he doesn't score. make mistakes. He's in the flow. He's in the rhythm. He's in the groove. Four flag. It's Connor to throw first. Not only Game on. the most dazzling display we've seen for some time to this point, and it could get even better from Connor Scott. But what a message this is to send out to Ashley Coleman, who is just gearing up in the practice room to take on Colin Osborne in the next game. 100. Well, we believe a 12 data here for Connor Scott would be enough to break the record here at the Super Series in terms of the all-time average, which means he's got six darts here at 70. 230. And that is on. Forty-five. Connor, you require nine. Daryl Pilgrim holds that record. Game shot and, the and Connor Scott. Connor Scott. Well, hasn't quite managed to catch him. It's a four-nil win. It's an average of a hundred and twenty point two four. That is absolutely out of this world. And he looks like he's going to be out of everybody's league. 120.24, 4 out of 7. He started in style with a 13 dart, then hit a bullseye for a 10 and just carried on in the same vein. It ends with a dozen dart leg, 120.24. Well, just look at that for a little bit longer. And Ashley Coleman will be thinking about it when he takes to the stage because he has to answer that when he faces Colin Osborne. Welcome to the party in Portsmouth here at the Moda 